Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to B-Sides Las Vegas, um, Siena track. This talk is about, um, one second, how to priori prioritize red team findings presenting CRTFs, common red team findings score version one. It is given by Mr. Guillermo, who is one of the red team lead at one of the biggest cybersecurity insurance here in the US. And he's having over 10 years of experience in the field. Before we begin, I have a few announcements to make here. We would first like to thank our sponsors, especially our diamond sponsor, Adobe, and our gold sponsors, Toyota, Prisma Cloud, SEMGREP, BlueCard, PressTrack, and just to name a few in their support along with our other sponsors, donors, and volunteers to make this possible. We have few policies here, and one of them is about our cell phones. These talks are being streamed live, except in on the ground, and as a courtesy of to our speakers and audience, we ask that you check your phone and make sure it is in silent mode, please. We have a mic in the middle of the room, if you have questions, you can use it. We also have photo policies here. So the B-Sides Las Vegas photo policy prohibits taking picture without explicit permission from anybody in the frame. So please make sure you have permission before taking a picture that contains someone there. Uh, that being said, uh, welcome, Guillermo, and thank you for coming to Beside Las Vegas, Siena. Hi. C can you hear me? Uh, great. Thank you for attending the official presentation of CRTFSS, or Common Red Team Finding Security Score System. So you can take pictures of me, so don't worry. <laughs> Got to near the mic so that... I will need to be a little bit closer to the mic. Anyway, before starting, I want to mention that this project is licensed under Apache 2. The data set that I am using in the CRTFSS website comes from Myriad Ingenuity from their project Top Attack Techniques, also licensed by Apache 2. And I am using the Myriad Attack. Uh, for this project, so we need to include their license. Okay, so let's start. In this 20 minutes talk, we will go over what is the current problem with prioritizing red team findings, the current efforts, and the CRTFSS as a solution f to this problem. I will present this new methodology and its process and finalize I will share with you a use case on how to use this methodology to prioritize your routine findings as well as how to use the CRTFSS site. So, I am the routine leader in one of the biggest insurance companies in the USA. I have almost 12 years of working in only offensive security roles. This is my second time speaking of besides Las Vegas and I have also participated in besides Manchester, Hackfest Canada, and DEFCON. Also, I will be giving a workshop on this methodology this year in the Red Team Village. Um, I'm a member of the staff of besides Mexico City. So, the, the current pro problem is that after running many assessments, a Red Team generates a lot of findings. Defenders struggle to keep up with the remediations, and it takes time to create a use cases or develop new detections for each of one of the rating findings. Also, organizations cannot feasibly defeat against all the Myra attack techniques. And organizations also need a system or directive to help them uh, prioritize their findings. They have so many of them that they can optimally assign resources and focus on the critical ones. Did you know that more or more or less 500 techniques and sub-techniques are documented on the Myra attack knowledge page? This task uh, then comes overwhelming. So as an organization, where do I start? 
Um, I was looking at a solution and I couldn't find anything similar. There are some efforts like the attack IQ methodology, but the problem is that it is based on CVEs to assign a numeric value for to a finding, but all not the rating findings are based on a vulnerability or have uh, associated a CVE. So you can't use this methodology for all your rating findings. Also, there is a fantastic project called Myra, Myra Top Attack Techniques, but the the problem is that they only aim to prioritize the most relevant TTPs. Still, that project will not help you to prioritize your rating findings. So I created the CRTFSS. My solution is a methodology to prioritize rating findings using adversary behaviors observed in real world threat intelligence side things and mapped to the Myra attack based on the most frequent TTPs that score each finding based on the complexity of the remediation and exploitability. Um, this is the formula behind the methodology. The TTP frequency is how often threat actors use a specific TTP during, the, during a time frame based on real world side things. The exploitability refers to the technical requirement level an attacker needs to perform that TTP successfully. And complexity refers to the difficulty of remediating the routine finding or generate detections of it. Here you, you will find the guidelines to run these methodologies successfully. First, all routine findings are critical, but if everything is a priority, nothing is. This methodology is threat intelligence source agnostic. Currently, I am using the top attack techniques dataset to obtain that information, but you can use open source, paid source, or any private shared intelligence source to get more relevant TTPs for your environment or your industry. The TTP trends needs to be based on real world side things, and also the TTP trends could be based on monthly, quarterly, or yearly side things. And if if there is a rating finding, the finding was already tested, and it is an actual finding, not a theoretical one. And the methodology is not meant to categorize ethical hacker or pen test findings. There are a lot of methodologies to organize them. And finally, this methodology doesn't calculate security risks. So the following bullets represent the CRT FSS process, the first step is to understand the top TTPs that threat actors are currently using and are trending. This information can be obtained from various sources such as industry reports or even security blogs. As I mentioned, it, you can use open source or pay tailored intelligence feeds to have the most used TTPs by attacker in a specific industry or region. Once you have a comprehensive threat intelligence report, you need to analyze the data and count how many times the same TTP attack ID is present and weight each of one for their prevalence. And as I mentioned, this project used the Myra Top at attack techniques, which is which has an extensive database with the most common commonly observed adversary activity provided by their citing contributors, and a comprehensive methodology to prioritize the TTPs. But uh, you can use any threat intelligence source with this methodology. Then you need to map each routine finding that you have on their corresponding my attack ID. After that, you need to evaluate the exploitability and complexity, and with those values, calculate the severity for each one. Then, prioritize your findings based on their severity. It is important to mention that for all the purple ones, you can use the CRTFSS website. So don't worry, I'll explain to you later how to use it. Okay. In these graphs, you will find the values for each of one of the elements of the formula. The TTP frequency is from the less present to the most present TTP in the real world sightings. The exploitability comes from the ability to successfully exploit the TTP using a search day exploit on the wild or private POC to 
a TTP that you can run using various, various open source tools or frameworks. And the remediation is how easily or difficult it is for the blue team to remediate the rating finding, implement a security control, or generate detections of it. And after run uh, the calculations, you will obtain a value, which is the severity. And using this table, you will obtain the score based on the severity of the rating findings. So in the following slides, I will show you how to implement this methodology. OK, there we go. So Metaphysics company contracted the services of Shiri Consultants, a very important firm. Experts since yesterday. Shiri Consultants performed a red team assessment simulating a an outsider thread using real world adversary techniques and the goal and the goals for the red team assessments are finding an entry point from the outside and getting a foothold inside the network, move around with Excel techniques, identify critical data uh, during the, their operations, and finally exfiltrate the critical data. Shri consultants successfully finished the assessment during their actions they performed, a successful phishing campaign targeting the HR department. After that, they installed a keylogger in the compromised endpoints. With the information obtained, they dumped the credential store on LSAS using Mimikatz and used them to move laterally. Later, they identified hosts with critical information, and they used Dropbox to exfiltrate the critical data. The problem is that three consultants didn't prioritize the routing findings. So metaphysics company doesn't know where to start. So metaphysics company took the report and mapped each of one of the findings to the correspond my attacks ID. And metaphysics uses the CRTFSS side to calculate the severity of each of one of the Maratax ID based on their organization and their environment. Metaphysics, Metaphysics company took each of one of the Maratax ID that they mapped and they searched them in the TTP frequency score searching tool to obtain the TTP frequency and determine the exploitability, complexity, and calculate the CRTFS score using the calculator. And this is how it looks, each of one of the Maratax ID and results on the calculator. And I want to show you very fast how it, how it looks, the, the CRT FSS site. Well, it is, it is tiny. There you go. So here you have the the searcher, so you can uh, search. Oh, I don't have internet. There you go. There you go. We're back. So you can search each of one of, of the TTPs that you that you map for each of one of your rating findings, and you will obtain the TTP frequency. So this, this value you, you can put on the calculator here. And then with the tables that I showed you two minutes ago, you can calculate the exploitability and the complexity, and you will obtain the CRT FSS score. And this, is, this website is fully available right now, so you can use this methodology uh, as today. And we will back to our presentation. There we go. So to finalize, Metaphysics move from the Shiri Consultants report to this nice table. And Metaphysics started addressing the most critical findings earlier based on their CRT FSS score. So CRT FSS is a methodology that will help you to prioritize rating findings according to their severity. Based on real world threat intelligence side things, you can effectively allocate your resource 
your resources and enhance your defense against sophisticated attacks. Um, there are some takeaways that you need to take in consideration. To run this methodology, you need to use real-world threat intelligence. And sometimes you will have multiple findings um, based on the same minor attack ID, and that's okay. There are many ways to execute the same TTP, and your security tools needs to be ready. And if you are interested, you can check the Spectre Out's perspective on the deep and breadth of how to approach a TTP. There is no one size fits all detection solutions for a singular minor attack idea. And in the future, I will focus on refining the CRT FSS scoring system to represent the value more accurately. I will continue enhancing and adapting the, this methodology to ensure that will effect, effectively address the evolving cybersecurity challenges. And I will do some improvements to the website, and I will include a friendly user guide to use this methodology efficiently. So we have reached to the end of my talk. If you want to share ideas or have questions or suggestions, here you will find my Twitter slash X. And also, I want to, to give a shout out to Myrod and Unity, since I am using their TTP dataset in my website. Also, Chepe, who helped me to build the website, and he's helping me with the future changes. And Bootlet Dog, who helped me with the Shiba, Shiba Consultants Art, Chap GPT. And of course, all the 19 Floors team for the inspiration. Thank you again, and I'll see you later. Thank you, uh, Mr. Guillermo. If anybody is having a question, please uh, feel free to come here and ask your question. Thank you. So from what it looks like, you had mentioned that sort of this is unique to each organization and their ability to identify the risk score to their organization's specific infrastructure. Is there any potential for future work to, for this tool or this website to assist companies in developing uh, the risk score for their organization or identifying their weak points with vulnerabilities? Well, um, this methodology means to categorize rating findings so, um, and any sources can can use the methodology, a red team, a, an internal red team, and a consultant red team, and or also uh, internal cybersecurity teams can can use the methodology to translate the the reports that they have for external uh, providers. To, to allocate the, the resources for, uh, for each of one of the rating findings. Any other question? All right, thank you, Mr. Guillermo, and uh, we will have just for a quick notice, we will have uh, the next talk will be social engineering, training the human firewall. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time.